I've yeah. got a few of them. Good man, I love it, I love it. Um, so, you said you have a PhD in, uh, in uh, unarmed combat. Yeah. And uh, I saw against uh, Ivan Bushinger you tried that forward roll, mm -hmm. foot over the top, what was that, what's that called? Um, you turned it into a takedown straight after. Oh yeah, that was, uh, that was like a kind of a variation between a spin and hook kick. Um, like between, half between a taekwondo spin and hook kick and a capoeira reverse hook kick, so they're kind of similar. Um, I kind of leaned as if I was going to touch the mat capoeira style, but I didn't, and I swung it kind of taekwondo, so it's a little bit of mix. I'm just, I'm just experimenting. Take down after this. I throw, I'm just rolling with it, man. I try, I come here and I try everything. I try anything. Yeah. That was my question. It was going to be um, against um, Against Max Holloway, you, you did a lot of switch kicks, mm -hmm. and against Brimage, you tried a few capoeira kicks. Yeah. Anything for Brandao? You best believe it. Yeah. You best best believe. I'm coming in spontaneous. Um, did you see the spinning or the switch kick in the fight before Holloway? No. Did you see the capoeira fight in the fight before Brimage? No. Every time I'm getting better. You know what I mean? I'm only. I learn every day. You're not learning, you're losing. You know what I mean? Life is a lesson, so you learn or you fail. And that, that's it. Learn every day. Get better every day. Um, any chance I'll ever listen to you on Joe Rogan? I'm a big fan yeah. of Joe Rogan experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I want to hear three hours of Conor Gregor. I would love to. Joe's a cool motherfucker. Mm. Uh, I was supposed to do it at one stage. And when I was in LA recovering from my, re doing my rehab work on my knee. And uh, it just never happened. But it, I'm sure it will happen. I'm sure you'll get it. One little idea for you. Um, you know, if you watch the Ream, much the you know Astro over him, he makes a free fight video for every okay. fight. Okay. People would pay to see that. Man. Yeah. I know, I know the UFC are coming over to get some footage. Um, like a not a countdown. I don't know, maybe it's something new or something. Right? They're coming over anyway. And we also, I believe, RTE we're trying to be to get a documentary going again. I don't know whether that happened. I don't think that this didn't happen, but yeah, who knows what's in the future? One per camp, man. Yeah. I paid five dollars every time. Yeah, really? Um, I mean, you're looking at a good look at a good session right there. You know, a good grappling mm. session with some some of the best grapplers out there. You know, Johnny. So, um, I know that young uh, James Gallagher is a couple of times. Yeah, phenomenal. Uh, Phil Mulkey, the John Cavan, of course, the coach of it all, oversees it all. There's a beautiful team going here. Good, good vibe. Good learning vibe. Everyone has something to offer, and everyone is willing to take that offer. You know what I mean? No, there's no egos, there's no... It's a beautiful thing going right here. Last, last question. If there's one technique that hasn't been pulled off in the UFC yet that you'd like to pull off, what would it be? Probably that rolling thunder. Yeah. It's a Kyogre some karate move. Off the break of the clinch, where you roll over your, over your shoulder and crack them to the back of the heel. It's like a... It's not a hook kick, because you're literally going full... full somersault, basically. Mm. Maybe something like that. Who knows? You know, whatever. Thanks, I'm just gonna keep going spontaneous. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you.